Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to update to Windows 10 Mobile Build 14946. So if you are interested to see what's new in this build, stay tuned. You're watching Nasmus Labs where we talk about technology, gaming, rapid transit, education and a lot more. So if you like the content, hit the like button so I know you like it. And to be notified for future videos, make sure to click the subscribe button. Alright guys, time to update to Windows 10 Mobile Build 14946. I'm going to just... Um, Type in my password here, and we're in. Time to go to the settings app. By the way, um, one of the bugs that are fixed, I forgot to mention on the previous video. Uh, for for several builds now, I could no I could no longer swipe on the blank section of the action center to remove the action center, but now the shade goes away when you swipe in the in a blank section of the action center like that. So there you go. So that has been fixed, but. In the previous build, I'm currently running build 14936. Um, there's another problem: is that when you play, when you're in battery saver mode, um, audio doesn't play when the screen's locked, and that's a huge deal. It's a terrible thing. So when I click, say, for example, what the tech here? Let's play this. Let's see if this feature gets fixed in the next build. But integrating your payments no longer has to be. With so Braintree, now, I'm playing a uh, uh, podcast. From any device with just what I'm going to do is go to Battery Learn Center here. Andrew, and enter I've turned on Battery Andrew Center. Charlie. Now, let's, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to turn the screen off. And the audio stops playing. And this is a terrible thing. I can no longer listen to podcast while keeping the battery saver on. That means I have lo less battery life if I just want to listen to podcasts while on the go. And that is not good at all. This, th When battery saver is off, audio plays as usual. This is not how it's supposed to work. I need, to, I need audio to be playing. So now that battery saver is off, audio, uh, audio plays as usual. Um, I'm going to click more info. As you can see, we're on build 14936. There we go. As updated, last check yesterday at 10, 1, 08 a.m. Well, because, th and it didn't, well, that's because you haven't checked today. So, no wonder you're not finding updates. But let's see if updates are found. If we do have an update, check right now. Ah, tea and biscuit. Perfect. To do. To, to uh, perfect to enjoy while I update to Windows 10 Mobile build 14946. It has finished downloading and we're preparing to install phase, and we're at 20%. So we'll see you back. I'll finish my tea and we should be get we should be on our way to talking about the new improvements and known issues for this new build. Well, look at this. We're almost done with the gear spinning. <laughs> so this been it has been more than almost an hour, I think of this doing the update process, but we're getting the, near the end. Here's what's improved for mobile. We fixed the issue causing you to get into a state where text message would fail to send. So now you could send text messages. When your phone is connected to your PC, long lists of captured photos will now load significantly, f significantly faster in File Explorer. We updated narrator reading order for Windows 10 apps, which display an app bar on the bottom of the app um, for example, OneDrive. So now contents of the page will read before the content of the app bar. So the contents will read before the UI elements, which is important. We fixed the issue resulting in video thumbnails sometimes not being shown in WhatsApp. Videos received from this bill onwards will display a thumbnail. So now WhatsApp will be working perfectly or better or without a bug. So if you had issues before, now you're no longer going to have the issue. We fixed an issue resulting in the cam camera app video recording having a slight crack crackle to their audio in recent builds so now uh, when you record video on the camera there won't be any cracking sounds which is important I, I mean you want good quality recording right so there you go so this is the uh, known issue uh, so improvements known issues for this build have I have good news guys there are not a single known issues uh, there was an issue regarding speech uh, if we had speech and speech uh, packs installed, there were some issues, but that has been fixed in this build. So that was a problem of the previous build. So that has been fixed. 
All right, folks, the install phase is over. We're now migrating data. We're at step one of seven. Step two usually takes a long time. Step one is at 84%. This will go down, go, uh, go and finish very quickly. I think step two takes a long time to complete, but once this is complete, we should take a look at what's new in this build. See you then. All right, guys, let's take a look at what's new in this build, build 14946. I'm gonna go to uh, networking devices. This is this is new in the PC as well. So if you wanna see the PC build, build 14946, definitely check that out. I should have that in my channel, new uploads. I should also have a suggested video card right here in this with this video. But yeah, when you tap on Wi-Fi, when you turn off Wi-Fi here, the option to turn off Wi-Fi back on at a certain time interval or manually, it's present. Now you might be thinking, this was always there in Windows Phone. Well, yes it was, but the thing is, this was there in the old Wi-Fi settings. It wasn't there in the new Wi-Fi settings. So you see Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi Legacy. This used to be part of the Wi-Fi Legacy one. So this used to be part of the old Wi-Fi. So when you turn Wi-Fi here, you used to get this option, turn Wi-Fi back on manually. Again, see, this is the old style of the UI, old Windows Phone 8 UI. This is the Silverlight based Wi-Fi applet. But yeah, so now this has been ported to the universal Wi-Fi settings, which is part of both PC and mobile. All right, so the next part is autocorrection. Uh, T-H-E, imagine I typed in T-G-E by mistake because G is the sec G is a letter that's right beside H, so it's a common mistype. The autocorrection is the T-H-E, but if you actually intended to write T-G-E for some reason, maybe it's an acronym, and in the past, you couldn't do anything to get out of TGE. You'd automatically, you have to like let it replace, go back and retap it. But now your misspelled word would always be the second option. The other option used to be just close the keyboard and you know, open it again. But it was annoying, but now it's much better. Now, if you want to add a word to your dictionary, so let, let me try Nasmus Labs. Now it's an incorrect word, right? I now added Nasmus Labs to the dictionary. My name is now as a custom word that's added to my dictionary. Now I can, you see a minus word on it. So if a word that's I manually added in the dictionary, if, if it's a word that I manually added in or learned by itself as I typed it, now it has a minus sign option and now you could remove it from the dictionary by typing tapping the minus key, minus key and the word. So if I type in minus nasmus, it'll actually remove nasmus from the, you know, the uh, dictionary. There are some few new things such as expanding our text prediction to more languages. So this has prediction for text has been added to new languages and they are Lithuanian, Lavatian, Estonian, Slovene, also called Slovenian, Macedonian, uh, Afrikaans, uh, Galician, Besk, Suhili, Bangla in Bangladesh, Georgian, Azerbangi, also called Azari in Latin script. Only the Latin script version of it is has a language prediction. So if you speak any of these languages, they want to know your, you know, feedback. So, and they want feedback about specific examples of what works and what doesn't work. And they'll be watching it carefully because it's new. Also important note is on changes to automatic backup. So uh, the, they change the frequency of backup, but you could always manually, uh, you know, backup your phone settings. Uh, and app settings back into settings, then upgrade, update and security and backup and checking for more options and clicking the more options link at the bottom. As always, it's good to go, uh, yeah, so it's it's good to make sure that you back up your build, you know, before you update. So let's go to, let's go to update and security, backup and more options. Hmm, it's taking a long time to load. Last backed up, 2016, 10, October 13. At this point in time, now you can manually, it's, you would see which app data gets backed up, but there you go. So you can manually back up now as well. So back up now, I guess, why not? Okay, so there you go, backing up your data, awesome stuff. So there you go, guys. This has been Windows 10 Mobile Build 4946. So if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below. Let me know what you think of the build. If you like it, dislike it, are you still using Windows 10 Mobile? If you are, are you updating to the Insider Build or not? So let me know. I'll definitely like to learn what you think. And if you have any questions, definitely let me. I would love to answer them. So yeah, have a good one, guys.